right there because of his Majesty's chair because the column. Because one thing I love about this picture here is so significant uh, on many levels is, is Africa and Arabia. You know this. You know this where this is. This is this is a, a, a certain sector of the world. But how his Imperial Majesty has has Africa and Arabia between those those Yad and Boaz. You know. John King Boaz pillars right there. This is our true inheritance. You understand? This is what Genesis chapter 15 is speaking about. Not that little landing strip up at that beach, beachfront property. That's what they're fighting over. The land of Israel or, or Jezreel is the beachfront property. It's not really the true location of ancient Israel, but be that as it may, so it's a part, it's connected to the inheritance, but it's not the ancient most portion of the inheritance in the center of the land, but it's the beach. It's like Coney Island, you know, like they're fighting over Coney Island, no, for real. So they're fighting over Coney Island. It's the beach from Prada, but this is our, this is a good picture right here of our true inheritance, and it's his Imperial Majesty's office between these two columns, as you see right here, the Yacht and the Boaz, which is actually the very same position that where Christ, the Messiah, at what was called Solomon's Temple, that we now get to understand was actually Herod's Temple, is where Yehoshua HaMoshiach he taught, he taught, seated, you understand, at at the at the entrance between you know around or between that Jachin Yachin and Boaz, the Yachin and Boaz column often referred to in the Bible as Solomon's porch, especially in the New Testament, Solomon's porch. So now in his Imperial Majesty's bureau or in his office we see the Imperial desk right here and another photo we see him actually at the desk, you understand? We see this map, this large oversized map of Africa and in this large oversized map of Africa, it's not just Africa pretending that uh, the Arabia and, 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 and portions of the East don't exist in the Mediterranean Sea. You know what I'm saying? So you can see this is this is the area, the dominion actually, you understand, of the Beta Israel Ethiopian Hebrew sovereign. That's his dominion. This is where the dominion of Haile Selassie, our dominion, our promised land dominion. All the way you can see going into the Mediterranean, you understand, which is inclusive, actually those two little legs that you see up there at the top of the screen is Greek, Greece and Italy, and the southern portion of Spain is also in the picture, that's where the Moors, you understand, because the Moors are Ishmael's children, and Ishmael's children are also Hebrews, you understand, and if they do well, they receive a barakat as well, they receive a blessing. So it's very important to look at this particular map that his Imperial Majesty has in his office right here and to study this. You understand, to really understand the significance of this. You understand, we pointed out the temple columns, you understand, the Yacht and the Boaz columns, and, it, and that has its own significance, the two pillars, you understand, which for us, these two pillars are symbolic of the commandment of Ha Elohim, the commandment of God. We are those who keep the commandment of God. You know, in Revelation, we say, I'll make you a pillar in the temple of my God, and you shall go no more out. So, these two columns here, the Yacht and Boaz columns in his Imperial Majesty's office, are significant for what Revelation states as the, but these are they who keep the commandments of God, one of the pillars, one of the columns. The other column, you understand, is for those who keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Yid Tachin and Jesus Christos. And this is what we know of Kedemal and Hadis Elasi. It's kept the commandments of Ha Elohim. Jehovah Sen kept the commandments, Jehovah Sen including the seal of the commandments, which is the Senbet or the Shabbat, which is the Sabbath. Jehovah Sen, that's also another significant reason when we talk about the silver base economy, the CIA, Mystery Babylon, the conspiracy against the Imperial Majesty. You understand? That was another reason because he, he knew and he acted on his Judeo-Christian roots and foundation. 
and then the other column gives him is a testimony of the Hitachi Jesus Christ does. And it's from this very same office in the in, in the in, in the Christmas uh, Lutheran interview where the Pearl Magsy once again articulates that. You understand? And from eyewitness examples, not only did he articulate it, but he also acted on it. Very significant picture right here, the office of his imperial majesty. But the main thing I want to point out in this picture, in addition to the columns, you understand, and their, and their mystic, metaphysical, or some can even say Masonic significance, is the map, the map of our inheritance. So when we speak about Africa, you understand, and we're speaking about Africa, we should keep this region of the world in, in mind and should remind ourselves that if you get a map of Africa and you put it up there, don't cut out the so-called Middle East or Arabia. It is part of our inheritance. It's a part of the inheritance of us, you understand, and our children and children's children's children. If you need a scripture reference, Genesis chapter 15 verse 18 is the reference. You get a close-up map and you can actually go from from one river to the next river and see the main part of that inheritance, which is Arabia and the eastern, you understand, you can say the eastern portion, you understand, of Africa. You understand, but the inheritance has been Joseph's or increased to increase the whole of the continent, including Madagascar, portions of Spain, even Rome and Italy. This is the most interesting thing. So speaking about the rebellion of Lucifer, that actually Rome and Italy, you understand, is in the territory ruled by the King of Kings, yet the rebellion against him would come out of that north. Notice where it says the north country. If you look at this map, you can see exactly where the north country is in this map right here. So that's a little overview about this particular picture right here. This is why we included this one. In the documentary, that's the throne of the imperial majesty. Okay, that's the camp. Okay, now these are some of the other pictures.